another week. We are now at week six, and I've been waiting to use this line. And that line is I uh, finally can count on two hands the number of weeks I've been doing this, as opposed to the one. So yeah, now we're at week six. I'm very excited that week six is finally here. To me, it kind of feels like a little bit of a, a hurdle. And I think I'll say that as, <laughs> as every week goes on and as I continue to, to uh, somewhat succeed at this, I really need to change my language from I hope to I will. That's what my mom keeps telling me and you always listen to your mothers. Happy mom. Anyways, uh, positive and my negative for this week. That's kind of both. Uh, my positive and my negative are my mixed emotions this week. The reason uh, I'm so positive and happy is because of these videos. Um, the support I've been receiving for these videos has been absolutely mind-blowing. People I haven't talked to in a few years are, are coming out of the woodworks and, and wishing me well and offering me advice and I'm so grateful for that advice. You have no idea. Uh, every little bit of advice helps me and I learn from it because as of right now, I know absolutely nothing and I'm, it's a learning process for me to get into shape. You don't get this big by knowing how to be healthy and have an active lifestyle. So that's where all these people have come into play. So everyone who's uh, reached out to me, whether you're someone I talk to on a regular basis or whether I've never talked to you in, in the last little while, I want to thank you. You have no idea how much you mean to me. Now that being said, uh, this week, that was the beginning of this week. It seems I post the video and then and then it's great feedback. The, the negative to this week goes in hand in hand with that is that for the last couple of days I've been feeling, I don't really know the terminology to use. Well, I feel like I've hit some kind of wall and I'm not, I'm not really happy right now with, with this, where I'm at with this lifestyle change. I guess I just wasn't prepared for it to be so soon. You know, six weeks in, that's a fair bit of time in, but I just also didn't assume that it would happen uh, this early. In a way, I feel like this is all pointless. In a way, I feel like I'm not making any progress. In a way, I feel like I'm, you know, wasting time when, you know, when that is not the case. And so I really need to figure out how to get out of these slumps because I'm a positive person and I always, always, always strive to see the positive things in whatever I'm doing. But I don't know, it's hard to say. Sometimes, you know, we're all human. We all feel different things. And, and this week, I don't know, I'm just feeling a little down and out on myself and I'm not trying to play a small violin or anything like that, but I'm just trying to be honest and open as to how my journey is going so far and this week it just feels so far like a big bleh, I don't even know. I don't know. I hope I figured a way to get it beat past uh, these kind of the slump time because um, it's important to do so, but I'll uh, try my best to keep fighting the good fight. On to some interesting things from this week while trying to remain positive without getting back into my negative slump. This week I tried coconut water. Uh, I've had it before and never really been a fan of it. Like I've cut open pineapples and stuff, and, or pineapples. What? Um, I've cut open coconuts and have drinking like coconut milk before and it's not bad. I like it. I've eaten coconut, but I don't know. I've never really been a big, big, big fan of coconut. However, someone suggested this past week that I try coconut water because of, uh, it has a multitude of health benefits uh, for you. And so I went out and got myself the most natural coconut water I could find. It even has like chunks of, of coconut in it. Uh, chunks took a little bit of use getting used to drinking, just just a little bit. However, it is really good. Not only are they tasty, I like the taste of them, which is always good. When I do have a can, it does make me feel full, and I like that. I'm trying to keep things going here. I want to try to follow my friend Heather's advice. She uh, told me about, because uh, last week I vlogged uh, about like an alternative for pop that I found that's like a carbonated flavored water. Um, and she just said, you know, with that aspartame and stuff in it, uh, not probably the best thing to be drinking. And although I'm going to still keep some around because it's, you know, kind of nice. She suggested that I add some uh, the flavor, flavor my own water. So cut up lemons, oranges, cucumbers, however I want and flavor that water that way. Um, so I'm going to start doing that. Heather, thank you so much for that advice. It's much appreciated. One big thing I need to do is fix my sleep schedule. Some days I am up bright and early, bright eyed and bushy, wide eyed and bushy. 
bushy tail. I don't even know how that expression goes. Wide-eyed. Looking it up. Aha! It's called bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. Okay, there. There we go. I was kind of right. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. And other days, I'm in bed till like noon. Uh, now, most people would be like, mm, that's pretty nice. But I don't think it's good for my lifestyle change. And not helping that situation is The New House of Cards, Season 3. Yes, I have been watching it. As well as Scandal, two good shows that I've been binge watching a lot lately like staying up till like three in the morning so i gotta try to really really set my own schedule where i'm waking up at a decent hour having breakfast doing all that stuff and then going to bed at a decent hour because i think that will also help change things time flies and that brings me to my next goal i want to see not a big change but some change in a month. Uh, I realize it's March 1st, first of all. Holy Hannah! And that means tomorrow's March 2nd. Oh, I can do math! But that means one month until my birthday. April 2nd. My birthday present to myself would be to see some progress and some a little bit of change you know see that waist go down a little bit a couple inches or or whatever so that's my goal i gotta stay on it anyways that's where i'm gonna leave it this week in my slump trying to get out of it uh got a few goals to work on if you have any suggestions questions comments anything uh get in touch with me any way that you know how give me some advice let me know what you think of any of the topics that I discussed in today's vlog. Thank you so much. Have yourself a great week and we will see you at week seven.